Hello everybody, Anna here. I am back today to show you um, preview items for my sale slash um, auction. It's predominantly going to be a buy it now sale. Some items may be auctioned. That is tomorrow, Monday, June the 6th at 8 p.m. Eastern time I will be on. And I may have other items as well. I'm gonna try to coordinate a little more, go through what I have in inventory and other places like where I have things that aren't in inventory and see if I can coordinate some things together. So as I'm showing them, I can show how they coordinate as well. Um, I like to do that and it's a new theme for me, but I'm trying it and it seems to be getting me motivated and feeling good about it. So let me start showing you what I picked out um, for tomorrow. Like I said, there may be more. Um, I did pre-sell a few things that I showed from yesterday's estate sale and thrifting and antique store uh, finds. But let me get started here. Um, I don't know where to start. Okay, I have hair. I'll start with this. This is pretty cool. This is sterling silver, and this can go on a chain. I have it on a uh, pin because I had it hanging on here. But it's pretty cool. It's I believe it's this is like a uh, vintage... Chinese glass. I have to research a little more, honestly, but I'm bringing it, and I will research it um, beforehand, but pretty cool glass. Looks like there's a face in there. You see that? Hopefully my lighting looks okay. Looks dark to me, but that's, it always looks that way. Pretty cool. It's vintage looking, um, the way it's made. I don't have a chain for it. So I probably could dig one out. It looks like it. I don't know. I thought it was cool. All right, so it's that. And then I have Judith Rupka. I'm going to bring this onyx and sterling. It's nicely weighted. I believe it's 18 inches. It's signed Judith Rupka on there. It's the JR onyx and sterling. I think that's a nice... I know I have other necklaces on there. I need so many necks and there's a lot of necklaces. So many busts, I guess we call them. So Judith Rupka. I have this... <clears throat> I just showed this yesterday. This is... um. Sterling, uh, liquid silver, sterling, and onyx. Signed Mexico on these pieces. And it's a dainty little necklace, but I think it's rather nice, actually. So I have that. Let's show these quickly. This is um, garnet, and I believe that's onyx. I have to retest it to make sure, but it's sterling. Oh, garnet chips. Let me bring the pearls up. The one pair of pearls go great with the, uh, pearls and onyx go really good with the, um, with the Judith Ripka necklace. Let me show you. I mean, I think it does. Um, this is sterling pearls and onyx and then the Judith Ripka. It goes really well with it, I think. I think that looks nice. When I coordinate, I, I like a little bit of a matching going in with it, but a little difference. But it's a nice little necklace. Sterling uh, pearls, and could use a wipe down of the sterling a little bit better, but there, there's that. I thought it looked nice, Garrett. Let me show the other pearls. This is a lovely Honora pearls. Honora. I think the H is selling on that, actually. Um, it comes with its bag. They have a tag on them, so they're new. And this is aqua glass. Um, or stone. I have to, I'll test it to see if, I know it's turquoise on here and pearls. We have coin pearls, baroque, um, round freshwater pearls. It's a nice long necklace with a clasp and it's a new shape. It has an Anora tag right on it. I think that's rather lovely. <clears throat> and then this, these are that is uh, like diamond cut sterling balls on there and freshwater pearl or cultured actually. No, I think freshwater. Nice. I think it's nice. Could put that with this one or I don't know. Whatever. I don't need to cover that now. But I think this is pretty cool. This is mother of pearl and sterling findings. And it's on again, it's on a pin because I didn't have it on a chain. But it's nice. And I just show more pearls because I'm bringing a number of them. Um, these are lovely stretch bracelets, different, not dyed. These are natural um, pearls on a stretch. 
I think they're pretty for nice. Okay, let me move that out of the way. Now, these are some stones I just picked up. I have turquoise and sterling, two sodalites, and a mookite. So, there's two of these strands, slightly different shaped, the mookite. And then the turquoise is nice. Um, I mean, I'm not saying they're not nice, but this is a nice strand. There's some little pieces and then bigger chunks and a nice variation in color on that. It's a nice necklace. I think so there's that then um this let me show this next this is a fantastic lovely beautiful necklace look at that all clustered pave style rhinestones up here and it's rose gold colored it's costume it's nice though nice statement piece for that necklace this is a fantastic neck bracelet I mean it has uh, carved glass there um i don't know i think I, it's nice this is a vintage bracelet it's a fold over clasp there's the clasp has some opened in the back the ones that look like that are molded and look like not cut molded actually not cut jivery glass they're all fully pronged this one that's a nice pronging on it i don't know the maker but it's an, a nice nice bracelet and it's in good shape clean condition it's pretty. I didn't test it for uranium glass. I don't think it is. All right, let's move to big. I call it the big and beautiful. Um, all right, I have, um, I'll just show more necklaces. These are all coral. I've shown this one recently. Um, it's sterling and coral and Heshi beads. I'll offer it again, see if anybody's interested. Mother of pearl, um, coral and abalone inlay with coral beads that one and then this one opens up and there is a stick in there this is not sterling it's like tibetan um or alpaca i i don't you know some not sterling and these are coral those are coral it's a long necklace <clears throat> cool i'll offer those tomorrow see if anybody's interested in them and there's more there's a lot more actually i'm showing a lot today i was feeling motivated Here's some pins. How about we change it a little bit? Cherries. This is a carved elephant bone pin. This is a very lovely, the glass is fabulous. I don't, I maybe Czech glass. I, I don't know, honestly, or Austria. It's not marked. Lovely though. Colors and, and just the way it lays. That's sterling and stone right there. I think it's jade. I, I have to make sure what it is before I sell it, but it's sterling silver. This is a Jira, vintage mid-century Jerry's, as well as that one is as well as also. This is probably a book piece. I'm going to look it up. It's Napier. I have the encyclopedia of Napier here. This is vintage uh, Napier pin. I thought it was going to be Trafari. I'm not going to like Crown Trafari because these the way the stones look, but it's vintage Napier. And then I have these two little lovely. He has a lucite like um, back, and these are crystals on here as well as that. This is a bird. <laughs> it's cool. This is like an abstract sterling art piece, um, or just abstract. We'll call it. it. looks like a robot face kind of, and he's fabulous. It's also vintage. Tell me looking at it. This is a big and large and in charge, fantastic Monet. I believe it's 1980s by looking at it. I'll look in a book. I am. I look in a book for my pieces to see if they're book pieces because why not? I have it and that's how I learn. Um, this is a big, lovely, heavy weighted, well made Monet. Um, this is also Monet and I believe this one is mid century modern um, just by the looks of the gold tone and, and the copyright, but it carries over a little bit. So, you know, you have to. I have to. I'll look. It's brushed gold and, and shiny and it's nice. It's a Monet. This is Napier Crown. No, Crown Trafari. I'm sorry. And I believe it's mid century. I don't know. Could be 80s. I'll look at it. Or I'll just show it without telling you when it's from. It's modern. <laughs> it's, it is either vintage or a vintage. It's at least 30 years old. I know a lot of people consider vintage 50 years and over, and that's how the criterion's supposed to go, but. Um, it's nice. All right. These are fantastic. I think these are, I believe this one is 
chalcedony or amethyst. I have to look at it closer. All I know is it's stone, and it's a fabulous bangle, and this one is jadeite. I called them both amethyst, but this one I, I believe is jadeite. Initially, when I found them, I thought they were, and this is chalcedony, or if I'm pronouncing that right, or amethyst. I will make sure they're both stone. I know that, and they're lovely. Here I have, this is a crown, this is a Swarovski crystal sterling plated bracelet and it's pretty cool I think let me show it to you um it has the swan and an m and it's the I think it's called the friendship bracelet I looked it up um if you want to if you're interested you might want to look it up it has a nice um design to it I think Kind of modernist looking. I have a ring that matches this. I'm gonna pull the ring out. I bet you it's a Swarovski. I'm gonna. It's back there. I'll look at it and maybe I'll sell that as well. But Swan M and even if it's not a Swarovski, I'll pull it out and pair it. Somebody might might be in. Oh my lord! Sorry about that. I'm not redoing the video or editing it. I hope you don't mind that. I'm human. <laughs> and it's a quick preview here. Fantastic um, Swarovski friendship. Um brace bangle bracelet like a clamper bracelet now all my little rings dropped that i have that i'm gonna show quickly i'll show them now since i'm picking them up i have some inlay sterling inlay opal which i think i lost um i think this is the ones what i had um i showed this on thursday but i'm gonna show again it's marker sight and sterling and it's actually a rather well-made ring the carved details and it's quality sterling Marcasites are all there. This is opal and turquoise sterling. And it's a small ring. I think it's like a five or this is an eight there, I think. This is um, turquoise inlay and sterling. It needs a cleaning. I have a nice uh, coral shrimp ring sterling. This is um, un. Uh, not stabilized turquoise, older turquoise, uh, 1970s, I believe, on this. Signed Sterling. It's a nice piece of turquoise, I think. I like it when you can see the host rock and mapping in the turquoise. I think it's much nicer than the stuff that's stabilized, in my opinion. But this is um, Amethyst and Sterling. It's a, it's a simple little ring. I think that's all the rings I lined up. Okay, so I have this fabulous um, mid-century... Monet bracelet. It is brushed silver tone and in pristine condition. There's the clasp. It still has the hang tag and the safety chain. And it's it seriously looks like brand new. Now I'm trying to open it on the wrong thing. God. It's in perfect condition. I'll be offering that. It's fabulous. This is vintage uh, Crown Trafari bangle. Don't see them. I mean, I mean, it's a cuff bracelet. I don't don't see these often. This looks hammered, and it's a nice bracelet. It looks like they're modernist line. They all carried those different lines when that was going on. Nice mother of pearl, and this is a very nice bracelet. I think. Look at it. It's covered with a layer of um. Has a coating over it, but it's classy looking. I have these are Laurel Birch just happy face earrings. It shows real quick. Um, <laughs> I have this set that I put together, and I'm gonna try to put more sets together. If this is something that will interest somebody. It is earrings, necklace, bracelet, pin, and a ring of the AB crystal glass. We'll call it um, jewelry. I like doing that. I'll offer that, see if anybody has any interest. A fabulous large Chico's all red glass, black faceted glass. These are cut like gemstones. Look how that shines. This is satin. And it's it's um it feels fantastic. Nice gold tone chain. It's Chico's. It has the black faceted glass all the way down. And there's that red on it. And I think that's really pretty. That's Chico's. A lovely one. <clears throat> a few bracelets. Michael Kors. This is a gem. That's a stone. I didn't test it for sterling content or not. I will. But this is a Michael's Kors bracelet. I found this at the estate sale. Um, a lot of it. 
portion of this I did actually. So there's that. And then I have turquoise and sterling and these could probably use a wipe up, but you know, it, I think it kind of looks good like that to be honest when it's older. Okay, this is sterling and turquoise, sterling, turquoise and soda light two bracelets. That's just some more stone. And then I have um, some sets. I have a, let me show this first, Napier silver plated book piece, which I will give details on. This is a Monet set that I have that I will offer. It has earrings. There it goes, like on that. I'm going to wipe it down too because it gets a little bit of markings on it. But, anyways, you have clip earrings, tension clip, gold tone, silver tone, a bangle. If it's silver plated, I can tell by the way it has this markings on it. I will try to get it off before I sell it. If I don't, I won't, I, I won't sell it. Or I'll sell it cheaper later, you know, and see if somebody... I should be able to get that off, though. It's silver-plated. Um, kind of like Brayton's jewelry um, and how it gets like that. But, yeah, that's a set. I'll clean it up. This is a very lovely Monet little cameo. There's their signature clasp. Um, has their signature right on it, Monet, with a tag. And this is lovely little acrylic cameo. Dainty and beautiful, I think. Okay. This is a crown. This is not a crown. This is a more modern Trafari. This is 1990s. Um, by the signature, I believe. There's a tag still on. I'll get rid of that. But Pave style rhinestones and gold plated. Look here. I think it's nice. Um, I'm almost done. I have a few more things. I, this is a Lucite, uh, like root beer swirl, uh, West Germany. And that is vintage. It's nice. See if anybody's interested. If not, it's okay. And a couple milk glass necklaces. I know I have a few, couple people that in particular like the milk glass. Um, this is a super long one. I think it's 54 inches. I measured it for somebody that was potentially interested. But um, there's that milk glass, 54 inches. And this one is 30. I do remember this one being 30 with a spring ring clasp. That one has, this one has an, a box clasp with a little ornate like milk glass piece but this one is there there's those and then just some earrings in here let me show a pair of earrings that kind of match that this thing and, a, and look look um yeah match it well enough i think they go together these are sterling and the glass then I have some turquoise. I'm just showing everything. I usually don't do this. I will have more. I'm going to look through my jewelry and coordinate a little better with what I have. Turquoise and sterling. Lever backs. Onyx and sterling lever backs right here. I have both of them. These are 980 silver, which is better than 925. And they are lapis. They're signed 980. They almost look hammered textured. Like these are handmade. They look like somebody look, hammered them out. Okay, 980 lapis and sterling. These are look like, I can't find the signature, but you know the Diamondique, diamond, uh, sterling, and like they have that Diamondique shimmer. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what these are. I can't find a signature on them, though. I will look. And then just these two pairs of earrings if I show them. All right, that's it. I, I will probably have more because I'm going to continue to go through what I have and maybe making some little sets like this. I'm going to tell you, I know this is a simple thing, but I think this is fantastic. I like the sets. The bracelet's lovely. It's the ornate class one. All right, so tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern time here on my channel, I have a live buy it now and some auction items. Um, mostly everything will be buy it now, though. So I'll see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern time, hopefully. And then Thursdays, I'm I'm I now titling those thrift, live thrifty Thursday, and it's I have those at 12 p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. All right, I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day.